everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I have decided I wanna try, instead of buying all this new makeup, is to really round up and curate what I already have to kind of help you guys out in case you guys already have it or you don't want it to buy into the hype of new products and you want to maybe like buy some more classic things that you didn't buy before. So I wanna do on my channel a series of like top five of each category. So today we have top five eyeshadow palettes. I have not done this on my channel. I do have an eyeshadow palette collection video, so I will leave that listed down below if you wanna see every single eyeshadow palette that I own. But this video, I'm gonna narrow it down to five. And this is not easy. This is like choosing between my children, but I actually did okay. I don't use eyeshadow palettes that often. I typically just use my single eyeshadows because I have a lot of singles that I love, but Let's talk about my top five eyeshadow palettes. Okay, I'm just gonna grab it random. The first one I'm gonna talk about, there's no particular order, like don't make me choose a favorite. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run. I had to check to make sure this wasn't limited edition. It still is available online. But look, A, the packaging is great. It is this ginormous mirror. It is so thin and like hard. Like I just, I mean, it's on the run. You're supposed to take it with you when you're traveling. And I just really love it. I love that there's like pictures on it. They nailed the packaging on this one. But let's take a look inside. Look at this. Look at this beauty. They really nailed it. Now, generally what you're going to see with these palettes is a lot of neutral palettes because obviously I wear neutral palettes on a more everyday basis. But this one nailed it in terms of neutrals and then like fancy neutrals. You're not, yes, the colors look bold, but they're not crazy. There's no like neon green or like, like neon pink in here. The colors that they've chosen to put in here, like even these pinks can actually be so wearable. There's some cool like bluey greens, but again, you can do a really cool, just like bluey green smoky eye. The like warm tones in here, I am obsessed with. They have a ton of mattes. They have really nice, just natural shimmer colors. It's kind of the perfect palette for like a one and done. If you like a lot of eyeshadow, if you're like me and you're like some days, like nine days out of 10, I want a neutral look with just some matte eyeshadows and the shimmer on the lids. But if you have that night out where you're like, I want a red smoky eye, I want a pop of pink, I want like a really cool like fall toned olive green smoky eye, I want some like blue thing going on here for the summer, you can do it in this palette. So I don't know, there's just something about it. Like that's what I said, it's like it's very versatile and it can be fun, it can be bold, it can be smoky, it can be natural. So it's really right and I love all the color combinations, like it kind of like, works like down like these ways and also like across, like it's just their little squid. It's so great. I highly recommend it if you're kind of like bored with your palettes. This is a really fun and unique one. On the opposite end of that spectrum is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. I love this. I actually really, really love this. So this is what it looks like inside. Smells like peaches, number one, but this is all matte, and like I said, on an everyday basis, I typically just wear matte eyeshadow. I just do like a beige in the brow bone and like a light brown in the crease, and like that's it, maybe some highlighter, but I love this. If you like warm toned neutrals, this is the one to go to. They even have like a little two pops there of really fun colors, which is nice. You can use these as eyeliner. This is great in the upper crease. Um, but like these ones all right here, I've, I'm almost like hitting pan on this one. They're just so beautiful for like a no nonsense everyday look. They blend out so easily. They're so pigmented. I just think it's gorgeous. And the packaging is really cute. It smells like peaches. So if you're looking for a matte everyday eyeshadow palette if you're like I don't have enough mattes and I really need to add that to my collection or you have like a lot of single shimmers and you just want to be able to make a full eye look this one would be really really great I just love it like peaches and cream peach tea peach butter like they're all amazing there's eyeliner colors this is pretty much I wore this for so long when I first got it and I need to bring it out again because like I said I mostly wear matte eyeshadows. Next is an oldie but such a goodie. This is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. Oh, I love this. This is beautiful. This is more cool toned than the Just Peachy Mattes, but 
What I love about this is again, all the matte. So there's only three shimmers in here. The rest are matte. So there's like a taupe shimmer, a bronze shimmer, and a champagne shimmer. You have like super dark browns. That one's like almost a black. You have a really beautiful burgundy color, which I love to use as eyeliner. You have a brow bone. You have some crease colors all in here. Some like smoke it out with deeper shadows. If you like the peachy mattes, but you're like, I want a one and done eyeshadow palette that has it all. This one's pretty much it for like everyday neutral looks. It doesn't have anything crazy that you're not going to use. Like you will use all the colors. The only thing I will say is like these two colors look pretty much identical. So I kind of wish like one was an actual black, but they are different undertones. Like it's like cool, warm, and like pink undertones. So it definitely has a lot of variety, uh, really thin packaging for travel. I've used it so much. To be a little bit more dramatic, but still neutral, I gotta shout out the, the Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. You're probably all like, yes, we know what this looks like by now. This is it right here. This is my favorite one of the Anastasia line. Uh, it's great, I use it on brides a lot. It's like a bit more dramatic than your everyday neutral. I think it's like, yes, it's called Soft Glam, but it's still glam right? Because these are very, very intense glitter shades. This is a black. These are all mattes, which is gorgeous. They're very warm. And then there's like one kind of like pinky tone there. Beautiful, like natural shimmers over here. But these three are so intense. So if you want just like a Kim Kardashian, like glamorous, dramatic eye, this is the palette to go with. It's not your everyday palette by any means. I wouldn't say that if you're like, I don't really know about eyeshadow. I wouldn't get this one. I would choose some of the other ones. But if you want to like take your eyeshadow level to the next step then this one's for you because this is definitely like evening wear yes you could make it daytime of course but if you want just a daytime palette this is not for you this is definitely more glam more evening so I love this one and last but not least I feel like no one ever talks about this palette and I always recommend it to people who again want to buy a neutral everyday palette this is the Stila eyes are the window shadow palette in Seoul and inside it looks like this this is like your basic, basic, basic palette. So very neutral. It's not too cool tone. It's not too warm tone. There's no like crazy oranges or anything like that. Um, and it has everything. So it's like all mattes along the top. There's just beautiful natural shimmers. Like a sh this is Kitten. So it's like a champagne shimmer, a taupe, and a gold. I use these ones the most. I don't really go into these purples too much, but I know a lot of people who would. There is a black. There's like a gunmetal shade. They're beautiful. They're easy, easy, easy shadows to deal with. They're like not too dry, but not too like intense and pigmented. So they're perfect for every day. They're perfect for kind of like a beginner or someone who just wants like no nonsense in their eyeshadow. I have to bust this one out again because seriously, even like for travel, like it's, you wouldn't really need much else for like an everyday slash like nighttime look. I think it's really beautiful. The shadows are so easy to work with, so I highly recommend this one as well, and it's not really talked about that much. I did it, I did all five. So those are my top five eyeshadow palettes that I currently own. Leave down below if you love any of these palettes, or if you're like, no, Brittany, you missed one, you gotta get this one, why didn't you talk about it? Leave it down below in the comments, I would love to hear about it, and I'll see you in my next video, bye!